Hello everyone, by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. I'd like to borrow the word of St. John to greet you on behalf of the theological education team in the FJK. He says, Beloved, I pray that uh, in all respects you may prosper and be in good health, just as you shall prosper. My name is Alfred Sanjay Mampion. I'm the president of the Theological Education Committee of FJKM. I'm in charge of the organization of any matter related to theological education in the Church of Jesus Christ in Madagascar, such as the elaboration of curriculum, leading the organization of enrollment of students, leading the recruitment and training of teachers, negotiating partnership with organizations and institutions locally and internationally, and many more. It's my great pleasure to have this opportunity to share with you what's going on in the FGKM during three years after the last synod in 2016. The following poet presentations give you a glimpse of a project of theological education in the FGKM. I wish we well despite the coronavirus pandemic. May God bless you. Amen. Greetings from the FJKM Theological Education. We are glad to be able to share with you all the theological education plan and how we can continue to partner with us to carry out this important work. To give you a brief overview, FJKM continues to expand. With over 6 million members, we have 7,200 churches or congregations, but only 1,500 pastors. Many times, one pastor is responsible for several congregations. Each pastor will have about five churches and even up to 14 churches per pastor. A recent study confirms that if we don't make changes, this gap between the number of church members and ordained ministers will continue to grow. Currently, data shows that we have 455 students in FJKM seminaries. These represent the class of 2025 graduates. With the available ordained ministers, we will not come close to covering the ongoing growth of the congregations over the next five years. It is obvious that a primary way to address this gap is to increase the number of ministers graduating from the seminaries. Currently, FJKM has five seminaries. The actual process of getting degree at FJKM seminaries varies from four to five years for the ordained ministers. Four out of the five seminaries called theological colleges offer a theology degree after the four years of the program. One seminary, which is the School of Theology, offers a theology degree after three years of study and a Master of Divinity degree after five years of study. Lay education at the School of Theology is two years of training. The lay training in the regional synods is one to three years and equips lay people to assist pastors that have several churches. FJKM's plans for theological education in facing the challenge of gap between church growth and numbers of ordained ministers consist of two main facets. First, to reorganize the education system and the teaching learning strategies. And second, to increase the number and education level of our faculty. To reorganize the educational system and the teaching learning strategies, the five seminaries will be combined under one institution the School of Theology and Religious Education, or ESTER, which stands in French for 
École supérieure de théologie et d'études religieuses. This fusion is to be decided during the National Council meeting, which is in session for the next few days. From this fusion, Esther will use the same curriculum and training program for all ordained ministers and lay education. This instruction plan has been developed during three workshops starting in 2017. A PhD program has started. Lay religious education is now more formalized and requires fee to be paid by the students. It would have started in October, but was delayed due to the pandemic. Virtual teaching and learning is also part of the plan, which will start in January 2021. Creation of the Esther websites and modules to launch the virtual learning are already in process. Based on this new organization, all ordained ministers at Esther will receive the same education. Seminarians will have a theology degree after three years of study and the MD degree after four years of study. Graduated seminarians will be appointed to serve in congregations and the MTH and PhD degrees are available to them while they are serving. The lay religious studies at Esther will also be three to five years they will receive the same training as the future ministers. The lay leaders will receive additional training if they decide to be ordained. The lay education in the regional synod level will still continue, which is a great support for the ordained ministers. The second facet of FJKM's plans for theological education is to increase the number and education level of our faculty. This chart shows the number of teachers at each of the seminaries. If you are going to increase the number of students, we need more teachers. Most of our teachers are part-time serving as full-time pastors. To increase the quality of the education, we need more teachers who are focused on educating students as their career. We also need to increase the level of expertise and education of our teachers. We have several strategies, a recruitment system of new key positions and additional faculty will be put in place in Esther. A succession plan will be implemented as most of the current staff will soon retire. This strategy also includes increasing the number of teachers with advanced degrees. Pastors Juliette and Mamisu are part of this recruitment system and succession plan. A permanent system for capacity building of teachers is required, interfaith and or international workshops and seminars. Since 2018, FGKM Theological Education has had international workshops with overseas council and have hosted visiting professors from the US for systematic theology in 2018 and 2019, and from Switzerland for New Testament in January 2020. Teachers' motivation. Part of the income from lay training education fees are to support the teachers' alliances. It is extremely hard for teachers to support themselves on the current salary. We also have a lack of adequate housing. We lose potential professors to large churches who can better support them. Thank you for all your support. We would appreciate if you would consider partnering with us to help with some of the new organization's financial needs. We need funding for additional housing for teachers and seminarians, for doctoral candidates and faculty, for books and journals, art copy and e-books, for virtual learning materials such as internet services, computers, video projector, and for the development of the PhD program. We also need individuals to teach classes or workshops 
in Madagascar or virtually. Most of all, we need your prayers. We need your prayers for FGKM theological education as we carry out this new plan for the resources needed to accomplish that and for the resistance you, we may face implementing this new organization. We need your prayers for perseverance and provision for the student as they continue their education in the midst of pandemic. And we need your prayers for the doctoral students as they finish their program. On behalf of the FJKM's board members and council, the Theological Education Committee, we are giving thanks for this opportunity. Thanks to Madagascar Mission Network for the past and ongoing partnership. May God bless you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. It's nice to be with you in this time. Thanks be to God. I'm Juliette Razaversu, the director of Ivatu Theological College in Madagascar. I came to the U.S. in January 2019 to do Doctor of Ministry in Executive Leadership at SFTS. My project is a Leadership Training Manual and the name is a PASS. A PASS is a key to go anywhere. Uh, it stands for uh, Privilege, Accountability, Awareness and Stewardship. It is a bottom-up method to make a radical change from the grassroots. It is a faith practice witnessing disease in daily life. Why a leadership manual? Because death is in Madagascar and the crisis of leadership is universal. Systemic oppression is everywhere. Injustice prevails and there is culture of silence also in Madagascar. So, training is a subversive force to address that issue. The goal is to awake church to bring prophetic voice, to equip church to have a critical thinking, enable people to speak for themselves, and a train servant leader to make change. Because the church is a circle of influence, it is a divine institution, and uh, it has universal network. So I'd like to take the opportunity of being a church leader to do the leadership training uh, in the seminary and also anywhere. I've sent the notice of intent to submit the dissertation, and I'm doing the correction now. Then I will send the correction to the advisor, make the correction again, and submit it to the school. I wait for the evaluation of the school and act accordingly, or it will be approved, or there will be some changes, or I have to rewrite again. But I hope that it will be approved, so I will attend the graduation in May 2021. And I will do the implementation, uh, train student pastors, working pastors, and church leaders across Madagascar. But I will also train the team of trainers and then do the refinement and uh, look for partnership to work with me for the translation in Malakasi, in French, in Spanish, and it is already in English. So uh, the manual should be published in four versions and uh, that's all. Um, thank you for your love, your prayers and your support. Uh, because of you, I made it, but uh, it is only the beginning. There is much work to do. I need help. I'll go ahead of you in Madagascar and please come together we serve. And God's peace, which is far beyond 
human understanding will keep your hearts and the mind safe in union with Christ Jesus. Amen. Friends, it is a blessing to have this opportunity. Although we cannot meet face to face, we have the privilege to meet virtually. I am the Reverend Mamisura Kutumalal. I am from Madagascar. I am an ordained minister of the FJKM. Married to my husband Lala for 27 years. We have four children, three sons and one daughter. We also have one granddaughter. Lala and I, with two of our younger children, are now together here in Decatur, Georgia. I studied at the School of Theology in Antananarivo, Madagascar. I hold a Master of Divinity and a Master of Theology. Currently, I am pursuing a Doctor of Educational Ministry at Columbia Theological Seminary here in Decatur. Why Col Columbia Theological Seminary? Columbia Theological Seminary mission to educate and nurture faithful, imaginative and effective leaders for the sake of the church and the world resonates with my vision regarding the future of FJKM theological education. Mostly the program that CTS is offering, the Doctor of Educational Ministry that I am doing, responds to the needs of FJKM theological education, which is not only limited to the life of the congregations, but particularly to the life of each individual as member of one body, the body of Christ. Columbia, the admin is a four-year program. The first two years at Columbia focus on equipping the students on educational practices such as teaching and learning theory, advanced study in human development, advanced study in curriculum theory and educational care resources. In addition, students are required to develop an original curriculum that needed to be tested and assessed. A practicum is also an essential part of the DEADMIN program, which preferably will be done at the student's own ministry site. But due to the travel restriction caused by the pandemic and the other challenges, I have done my practicum at Decatur Presbyterian Church last spring and summer. With DPC, I designed a curriculum relevant to their goal, which is engaged in the mission of Jesus Christ and taught virtually four of the eight lessons from this curriculum during adult Sunday school class hours. Two women leaders from DPC also taught the other four lessons from the curriculum that I designed. I'm now a year and six weeks from completing the requirement courses of this DEADMIN program. I have only a few courses left and I am in the process of writing my final project proposal to be able to attend what is known as the project workshop in spring 2021. As soon as I complete this workshop, I will be able to start my final project, which will focus on designing curriculum for adult education that involves empowering women. In 2022, I will continue to work on my final project after completion, I will schedule the defense of my thesis and register for graduation. After graduation, my goals are to help confront challenges of leadership and education in FJKM using the new knowledge in educational ministry. I will work toward fulfilling my own priorities which fit FJKM theological education committee's priorities. First, to recruit, select, and train larger numbers of ordained ministers and lay leaders, and second, to help develop or expand current and new seminaries, third, to acquire additional faculty at the doctoral level and develop curriculum and provide resources and materials for Christian education for the FJKM. On behalf of FJKM, on behalf of my family and I, we are taking this opportunity to give thanks to all who supported us and still continue to, to help complete my journey at Columbia Theological Seminary. May God bless you all. Thank you.